What's good guys in this video we're going to show you a great defense a match defense you can use against a quads set in madden 22 now if you're new to the channel hit the sub button my name is cody we do videos like this every single day to help you become a better madden player now i want to talk a little bit about quads and um i, I got the chiefs playbook up primarily because i think it's the best playbook for quad sets um i'm going to walk through uh today bunch halfback strong but um, they also have some other ones like Trey Y Flex Strong, um, and then I think it's, uh, let's see if I can find it, uh, Trio, I think Trio Offset Week, yep. So, how do we defend quads? Well, here's your problem, okay, and I'll show you real quick. So, I'm going to set a couple audibles. We're going to go over Z-Spot, we're going to go over Y-Trail, Verticals, um, Bunch, uh, PA Bunch Shot, if you don't want to run verticals, you could do flank or drive or tight end vertical or even flood if you really wanted to try that out. Um, and, and we're going to go ahead and come out in the PA bunt shot to kind of showcase first the problem and then we'll teach the solution. So I got tight end vertical and then I got verticals. And like I said, we got PA bunt shot. So here's your basic problem. If you're playing somebody that knows what they're doing, one of the things that you're going to experience, if you are a match type of player, someone that likes to run match like I do, you will get a lot of people that will eventually say, you know what, we're just going to run quad sets because you can't match quads in Madden. And unfortunately, they're not wrong. You really can, at least kind of can't. And uh, we're going to show you in this video a great little tip, I think, that will help with the quads situation. So a uh, couple things. What we want to do, first and foremost, are audibles for the nickel normal. We're going to be using cover nine. Uh, we're going to be using cover six. Let's see if I can find it. And then we're going to be using um, cover three buzz match week. One of the most underrated coverages in this game. And then the other audible will set. It can honestly be whatever you want. I like to put quarters because I like to base. My base call uh, is cover four palms. Now, if you're watching this and you want to learn my entire nickel normal defense, I would really, really encourage you to join our Patreon. You can join the Patreon by clicking the link in the description below. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate and unlimited access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that you'll also be able to get access to any updates to those guides and our weekly membership pro tip videos that kind of break down what the competitive community is doing why they're doing it and what you can do about it so if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below i think it's the best way to get better at the game so here's your problem if um if you're playing bunch so let's say i'm in z spot okay and let's just say i am you know, running Z-Spot like this, for example, and I'm going to run my flood concept on the right, and then I'm going to run a backside dig. Very popular route combination, okay? Um, you're going to notice that with cover four palms, I'm going to be able to match that corner route and take it away, as you can see right there. So what your opponent's going to do, especially if they're smart, they're going to say, you know what, we're going to just either A, motion our running back to the right, or B, we're going to call bunch halfback strong. And now what you'll see is this cover four match is not going to guard the corner out. Why? Because we've changed the principles in which this coverage is actually going to be. Now there's no longer a match principle to the bunch side of the formation, or the trips side of the formation. So you sit there and you go, well, what do we do about that? And this is my favorite play to call against bunch quads or bunch quads four to a side specifically if you have a backside solo receiver out wide like we do in the bunch formation and what i'm going to do is i am actually going to um first show you this wide trail play this is a great little concept here you can basically do something like this this post to evans is going to get over the top of every zone in the game so what i like to do is very simple we're going to go to cover six and I like to go ahead and vertical hook my slot corner. I'm going to shade my coverage down. And then I'm going to cloud flat my outside guy. And I'm going to deep half that safety. Now, I personally want to use or this defender here, Kyle Duggar, because I want my three rec to be able to help again over on this bunch side. So I'm just going to use her Kyle Duggar. But what you're going to notice is we're going to get a match principle still from this deep half. And he is going to take that solo receiver all the way across the formation and take away the post route. They cannot throw the post route 
on the left side against this. And really what we've turned this into is kind of a matching cover two. And I'll show it again. Very simple here. We're going to shade down that vert hook so it plays good against wheels. And then we're going to use our cloud flat on that side. And then we're going to have a deep half over here. Now you might say, okay, so what if, what if they run, for example, um, what if they run their corner concept or their flood concept like something like this with a backside dig? Well, this cloud flat is the best zone in the game for being able to try to kind of get out there. And again, it doesn't do a great job, but it still does have somebody in the area of the field. Now, what you can also do with this is let's say you get a true bunch quads type of look like this. One of my favorite things um, that you can do off of this is you can base align your coverage. And why would this be helpful? It's very helpful for this cloud flat and it's very helpful for this vertical hook to have a little bit of outside leverage on this right side. Because if they're gonna get a corner route, something like this right here, you're gonna see that this corner route is not any more, you know, see it's not very good against the base aligned cloud uh, from a you know an, an adjustment like that where the corners backed off So that is something that I really like about this coverage now The other thing that I want to really emphasize is the shading down of the vertical hook by shading down this vertical hook um, What you're gonna notice is let's say for example that they try to run just some kind of basic tight end flat route to the right you're gonna notice this shaded down vert hook will actually play this off the line You'll get interceptions if they try to just snap throw it. It's a great zone that can help with this coverage as you can see. And then the other thing that I want to show real quick here is this backside uh, kind of post route, if you will, to you know this bunch side or to the solo side. So with the backside post, this is another reason why I really love this coverage is you think that you could split these, um, these safeties. But because we are calling this out of a cover six, that um, safety on the bunch side or the solo side matches this post perfectly up the seam and he takes this away what this allows us also to do on the back side of this is if we wanted to we could man this backside guy up on anyone on the field so if we want to man him up on the running back for example we certainly could um, we could also just again leave him in a cloud flat or put him in a you know a shaded down um, a shaded down zone you can easily do that. Now, the other thing I want to show you is how good this is against wheel routes. So everybody knows that wheel routes, one of the best routes in the game this year. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to try to throw my tight end wheel route to Rob Gronkowski. And you'll notice that this vert hook in combination with the three reg makes that absolutely not a possibility. Now, I want to also quickly point out that if you want to, one of the things that you can do out of this coverage, because you're already shading your coverage down anyway, is you can go ahead, um, and, and again, what you can do out of this cover six, you can go ahead and just simply shade your coverage down and not worry about a vertical hook. You, your three rec hook will play a wheel, and I'll show you that real quick here. You'll notice this three rec run right to the tight end wheel and play it really, really well. So you can utilize that concept as well to be able to hang with the four verticals concept. And now you have a double flat. And what's good about a double flat, um, this is an old concept from Madden. Uh, I think, I wanna say it's from Madden 20. I mean, obviously it originated in other Maddens, but what's so good about this double flat where I have a hard flat from my slot and a cloud flat from my outside corner and he's backed off, and I've got this three rec kind of coming over and rushing the coverage here. And again, on the backside, I'm just usering, looking for any slants or any crossing routes coming back across. What's so good about this is now I there's no way that this tight end is going to get me. And also my corner, he doesn't quite play this perfectly. But what you can do is you can click on in that corner when they throw that ball and have a pretty decent chance at being able to uh, being able to get out there. One last thing that I want to point out. Uh, that you can do out of the cover six. Once you shade your coverage down, remember you have this three rec hook. What you can do is take this defender, your nickel corner, and you can put him into a curl flat. Now, this is not an end all be all zone, but what I will say that I've noticed about this zone is if they run that flood combination that's so good, you'll see this play it a little better. And you see that that quarter doesn't quite play it perfectly, but if we baseline there, that can certainly help that as well. So 
these are some of my best practices for defending uh, quad formations or bunch sets like this when they are in a four receiver strong to one side. What we really want to try to do with our defense is we want to try to at least make their life a little difficult. Maybe one other little quick tip, man this guy up and then play something like this. This is a great tip because there's not any zone or any route from this formation that can get over him except for the route to that player. So you can still shade your coverage down so that you have a really good strong vert hook. Then man this guy up, cloud, cloud, and then you can deep half there. Now you're in this basic cover two, but you have the match principle on the left and you have um, the man coverage on this defender um, on, the slot go on the slot corner. And what this will do is he'll at least be in man-to-man -man coverage, kind of driving on the corner route. And so if they don't throw it perfectly or get a great release, that's going to be something that you can stop with your coverage. So thanks for watching the video. I could talk for hours about this, and we have talked for hours about it in our Patreon membership. So if you want to learn the subtleties and everything that you need to know about running a match defense, or really just defense and offense in general in Madden, I've got over 22 offensive and defensive strategy guides. We also have several pro uh, tips over the course of the season. You'll get access to everything by becoming a Patreon member. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description of the video. You can head on down and click that link and go check out the membership.